Hello everyone, I am Hanan Al Musa from Palestinian schools in Qatar. Today I am going to explain periods 5 and 6 from unit 12, finding out about names, pages 56 and 57. Let's start. Now exercise number 2. Read and mark the statements true or false. Here you have 6 sentences. You are going to mark them by using true or false after listening to the conversation. Please read them silently to mark them. Now Period 5. Activity 3. Period 5. Activity Hello. 3. Hello. I'm Alan Robson and you're listening Hello. to I'm Did Alan You Know? Today, to we're discussing know. people's names. Today, and to answer your questions, names. we have Dr. And Julia Romano. Hello, everyone. Dr. Julia Let's Romano. begin with a call Hello, from everyone. Emma Baker. Let's begin with a call from How did our Baker. ancestors get their family names? How did our ancestors well, they get were their often names? place names. For well, example, mine shows that my ancestors example, were once from Rome. Here's an email from Adnan Heifawi. He asks what his name means. It's like mine. It means his family were from Haifa long ago. Now we have a text message from Dan Schumacher. He asks where his family were from. From Germany. Dan's name is German for shoe and maker, so they made people shoes. There are other work names too, like farmer and fisher. This email is from Tina Johnson. She wants to know when people started using family names. Long ago. Perhaps 700 years ago, people started calling an ancestor of hers John's son, and that became Johnson. And finally, we have Lucy Paris on the line. How do parents choose given names? In different ways. For example, parents often hope their children will be like their names. Yours means light, Lucy. So perhaps your parents hope you'll bring light into people's lives and make them happy. Now let's answer the pre-questions. Exercise number two. Read and mark the statements true or false. Number one. Dr. Romano comes from Rome. False. Number two. Different cultures use place names as family names. False. Number three. The boy who sends a text message makes shoes for people. False. Number four. People everywhere have always had family names. True. Number five. Lucy Paris is someone who will bring light onto other people's lives. False. Number six. Five people have contacted the program in three different ways. True. Please check your answers. Now let's answer these questions. Number one. What is Did You Know program discussing? It's discussing people's names. Number two, how did our ancestors give their family names? They were place names. Where did Romano's ancestors come from? They came from Rome. Number four, where does Adnan Haifawi name mean? It means his family were from Haifa long ago. Number five, where were the Schumacher's family from? They were from Germany. Number six. What did Dan's ancestors make? They made shoes. Number seven. When did people start using family names? They started using family names about 700 years ago. Number eight. How do parents choose given names? They hope their children will be like their names. Number nine, what does Lucy name mean? It means light. Number ten, what might Lucy's parents hope when they named her Lucy? 
They might hope she will bring light into people's lives and make them happy. Exercise number one. Read and complete lines from one to four of the table. Then think about the other young person's family name and complete line five. In this exercise, you are going to complete the names of the persons from the conversation. Then you are going to write their meanings. I will give you some minutes to do this exercise. Okay, now, number one, Dr. Romano. Her ancestors were from Rome. Number two, Adnan Haifawi. His ancestors were from Haifa. Number three, Dan Schumacher. His ancestors made shoes. Number four, Tina Johnson. Her ancestor became John's son. Number five, Emma Baker. Her ancestors made bread. Please check your answers. Now exercise number two, work in pairs. Make statements from the table in activity one. In this exercise, you are going to go back again to activity number one and to make statements about the persons in the table. Here we have an example about Dr. Romano. Dr. Romano has a family name, which means that her ancestors were once from Rome. Now I will give you some minutes to do this exercise. Okay, now, number one, Adnan Haifawi has a family name, which means that his ancestors were from Haifa. Number two, Dan Shomakar has a family name, which means that his ancestors made shoes. Number three, Tina Johnson has a family name, which means that her ancestors became John's son. Number four, Ima Baker has a family name, which means that her ancestors made bread. Please check your answers. Now exercise number three. Read the passage again and do these tasks. In this exercise, you are going to say what the underlined words refer to and what the underlined words mean. Let's start with number one. Number one, line seven. Mine refers to Dr. Romano's family name. Number one, line seven. Like mine mean the same as my name. Number two, line 14. Work names mean names which come from the work a person did. Number three, line 15. Fisher means a man who catches fish. Number two, Line 23, yours refers, refers to Lucy Paris's name. Number 3, line 24, them refers to people's lives. Thanks for listening. I hope you've understood the lesson.